Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Dia and welcome to today's vlog. This one is gonna be a little bit different. I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I eat in a day to stay healthy. For this week, I chose to make breakfast burritos. And when I make these, I make four days worth at a time. I just used apple sausage that I got from Costco, some eggs, and then I seasoned the eggs cooked it all up together, threw in some spinach, and then wrapped it in a tortilla. I got this recipe from my daughter back when she was in high school, and I thought she was insane when she suggested it because her friend cooked it for her. But I do add like a smudge of pesto onto the tortilla, and then I dip it in ketchup after, which sounds totally disgusting, but in reality, it tastes really good. By the way, each of these meals that I cook, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, range from 350 calories to 400 calories each. I'll go ahead and leave a link to my blog post down below as well with what ingredients I used. For lunch this week, I made salmon bowls and they were so good that I decided to have them next week too. All I did was made some sushi rice and then marinated the salmon in a maple syrup and soy sauce kind of marinade. And I really didn't follow a recipe. I just kind of threw it together. And then I baked it and I included edamame, shredded carrots, the salmon, and some seaweed seasoning that I picked up at Trader Joe's into the bowl and then I squeezed some sriracha on top and it was perfect. For dinner, I tried something that I actually saw on my Alexa show. I have it in the kitchen and it's always flashing new recipes and it showed this recipe for ice tray sushi and they make it look so easy to put together so it inspired me and I wanted to try and make it. The first thing I had to do was go out and buy some ice trays because I don't own any and that's harder than it seems. All of the ice trays had interesting shapes to them but I ended up finding some that I used one time when practicing meal prepping this but they were too thin and then I remembered that I purchased this nigiri sushi maker years ago on Amazon and I still had it so I decided to give it a try and they came out perfect using this. 
So I just made some sushi rice and then I chopped up some imitation crab. I ran out of Kewpie. So I just used regular mayonnaise and sriracha mayo and mixed it up and made like a spicy crab topping. And then I just purchased some salmon from my local Asian market and it is sushi grade salmon and just cut that up and put it on top of some of the pieces. My daughter and I were heading out to go shopping and it was gonna be right around dinner time. So I packed it up in this bag that I got from Amazon and put some ice in there with it. And we were out the door and had this while sitting in our car like a little picnic. These little soy sauce containers also arrived just in time before I was about to walk out the door. So I filled them up and each one of them was the perfect size and look at how cute they are. When we got home, it was cold outside and my daughter wanted to have a movie night. So we split a bag of popcorn, made some hot cocoa in her Keurig and topped it off with a little bit of whipped cream. The chocolate chips are hers. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a day video. If you liked it, I hope you give it a thumbs up because that really helps out my channel. If you wanna see more from me, be sure to subscribe. And if you wanna be notified whenever I post a new video, make sure you hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.